know that you see people all the time from from behind or wherever and you know that that's a woman or that's a man you know that you just know it all right so then we have these these leaders who are in fact having children or telling you they're having children but they're all men so it's not possible that they could have produced a child unless they're donating their 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 sperm right so then the women would just be some surrogate mother somewhere unknown who knows doesn't matter they may not even know it at the end of the day just so you know they may have an inkling of course they they personally may know but they'll just be put away as a nutter if they ever came out and said oh i was the one who had the baby yeah, right? So anyway, so that's pretty much covered because they'll, they'll be shouted down by the, uh, the good people. The good towns folk will shout them down before the, the, the royalty even need to hear from them. Because everyone loves their royalty. They love to be put upon. And they especially love to be put upon by men that look like women. Okay, so anyways, let's go through the proof. I'm going to go through... I want to show you some pictures of her walking with William, of course. Uh, you'll see he's he's a man. You'll see he's a man. I'll show you some pictures. Notice these women. They have the, the shorter digit. that You see that. Regardless of race, you see these are women. Those were women's hands. That's a man's hand. That's Michael Obama. Man's hand. The next will be Princess Kate. A man with man hands. Okay, Papa, okay, Papa wants, wants to do De Niro. Yeah, I do what I do best, and I take scores. You do what you do best. Try to stop guys like me. Okay, I'm going to coin a new term, a blokey chick, which is an English term for a man, and an American term for a, just a, a woman, but not, not someone you really care about, just a chick. So it's a blokey chick. This person was born a man i.e. the definition of blokey chick so if you're asking me what do i mean i'm telling you this person was born a man and now is pretending to be a woman married to this person the second in line to the throne of the shitty little suburb of the international world known as england yes i understand that most people are thinking it's a woman because they told you it was a woman but if you recall this person was never pregnant that's a fact if we look at the dress of this woman, you will notice they like to use a belt. Just like the, the Michael Obama character, they like to use, they like to cover up the um, shoulder, shoulders, the shoulder muscles, but they also like to use a belt or they like to stitch in the waist to make it look like he has a uh, hourglass figure or a woman's shape. You also notice that he has a distinct habit of holding his hands in front of his package as if it um, as if somebody was going to take it you know and it's something that you'll notice the more you look into this character very rarely are there pictures of the person the, the he that you can now see that's a that's a man there are four men in that room five actually I don't know what the camera person is just like the the, the Michael um, Obama and uh, uh, what is his Barack Obama uh, this you're looking at an early version of the same thing you know girls just want to have fun right but they're men right here if proportionality is correct these are both men I did want to show you this picture it shows you the perfect Hey Dave, can you sing flat asses and man legs? Flat asses and man legs is all I'm seeing in the news today. Flat asses and man legs is all.
you have the man hands, you have the man gait, you have the Clydesdale man legs. That's a man. Sequencing that I'm talking about, how she has the blokey walk with the arm length. Do you, do you see how she's having to bend her wrist up just to hold it? Because hers is just as long. She has man arms. It normally should fit, but it doesn't. Because these are both men. So they pretended to have a baby. You can tell still covering the, 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 the goodies. The same motion. Never pregnant. A man. You can see right here. Hold that picture. I'm going to show you right here. Some very interesting points. A little bit of the costume giving way, of course. As you can see. They love the fact that they're putting these men. Look at this man arm. They love the fact that they're putting these men. And they love the fact when they, they get the little upskirt of the men. And, and, and all the, the men of the world go, go running around acting as if they saw some princess's ass. When they saw some blokey chick's ass. Some flat little blokey chick's bottom. And some dude's legs. Big deal. That person, that dude, never had a baby. Didn't happen. Just an athletic dude. Okay, let's move more into the area where I can just show you things. Okay, I can show you the fake pregnancy. You can see that that's... She's, she's, she's showing you a baby and still... You know, they forgot to take the little fake uh, womb thing off. This, that picture, you can see the fake eyebrow falling off. This, you can see the man arms. Right? That, you can see the man buns. You can see the man legs. This, you can look at the side of this person and see that the crease to make them look like a female is photoshopped. All these photos were photoshopped. You shouldn't have to do that if it's a, if it's a woman. But this is a man, so they've been photoshopped. That's a man's gait. Now I'm going to show you next to other men, and you will see that she has a man's gait. You saw that with the pictures, that you can just tell a man from a woman by their gait. You can see that's just a dude sticking his gut out. She's not pregnant. They like to design with the long hair to cover up the shoulders like they do with Michelle. This is an, this, the whole thing about the holding the hands in front has to be a byproduct of the missing parts. That's a man's bottom. That's a man, and then you see how they put the... The, uh, actually, let's go back to that. No, this is just a good example of how they use fashion to, to give you the false sense of a waist. They're trying to show you that the waist is higher up like a woman in, when in fact it's not. This is a dude. Once in a while wearing stuffed bras. Most of the time just acting like a dude who's pretending to be a woman. Here with the other woman who's who is a, I'm sorry, a man who's pretending to be a woman. Here's a woman. Let's take a look. Okay, so this is, of course, a woman. And what I'm about to show you is the back end of what they claim is princess. Uh, um, Kate, she's a man, man. You can't look at this ass looking at you and tell me that's not a dude. That's a dude's body. Look at the crease right where he bends over. That's a dude. Those are dudes' butt cheeks. Those are dudes' legs. That's a dude, Princess um, William, I believe. Slathering oil on a man's ass. And they're telling you that that's a woman. This person had replacement therapy. They were born a man. They're pretending to be a woman. That's a man, man. All right? So don't tell me, don't, don't show me those stupid pictures uh, of, of this man uh, in a bikini. I've seen those. I've already done the, the, the Photoshop, the, the photo analysis shop on them. And they, they always Photoshop the side. It's always Photoshopped on the side. They always do that. And then they always Photoshop this guy's big ass legs out. They always like to chop this top part out. They couldn't get away with this because, I don't know, they, they must have forgot. They always leave something. That's a dude's ass now. You do see that, right? 